Hello everyone, welcome back to Dine with Joki Dongo's channel. This is where we do family recipes that are friendly and enjoyable to do in our kitchen. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you and to welcome our new subscribers and also those people who are still viewing our content. We are so grateful and honored to have you as our viewers. Again, I want to request everyone who loves our content to keep on commenting, leaving a thumbs up, sharing and subscribing so that I can know you like our content. Thank you so much. So today, I want to do a very popular Indian cuisine. Okay, it's not really a cuisine, but they love this type of eggs. It is called shak shakshuka. Uh, or basically here in Kenya, it is called Mayai Yamacho, something like that. If you are in a local restaurant, you will go and hear people saying Mayai Macho, So, but this type of uh, uh, meal or recipe, for them they add a lot of spices, and uh, which can also be optional when you are preparing, preparing it, especially if you are African. And um, it is best when you are preparing it and you like you add chili. And for me, I'm going to omit that um, spice because my family members, two of them, do not like uh, my eye, uh, pili, uh, pili pili or chili. So I'll get into introducing my ingredients. This is paprika, one, tablespoon, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of uh, black pepper, uh, uh, one tablespoon of, of salt, one cube, this is chicken flavored, and this is uh, our cumin, one teaspoon cumin, our four, four eggs, we are just medium then we have our paprika we have green yellow lead we have onion two onion actually we have the red one and we have the white one then we have one clove of garlic and one ginger chunk or then we have uh, a small bunch of, a small uh, piece of uh, dania, it's not that much, or coriander. And we have our three tomatoes. Now here, uh, I have always been postponing to show you how I make my, I usually make my tomato paste, uh, which I'll still do it uh, very soon. Eh? But I'm going to show you how I usually make my tomato paste at home and that is why i don't have tomato paste here from supermarket so i'm going to start chopping my ingredients the ones that i'm going to use in making our our paste i'm going to use this half of this uh, all, all of it this lead all this lead uh, paprika all carbs come then these ones I'm going to cook them as I prepare and then together with these and these ones, these two, I'm going to break them eh, together. Yeah. Meanwhile, as I'll be threading my my tomato paste, I'll also be warming our oil. Uh, I have not used a lot of it. We said that we are not going to be coating the amount of oil that you're using because People will prefer to have a lot of it, others medium, others and, uh, will go without. So, uh, I'm going to bread. This is our lead. Our lead onion. Together with the three tomatoes. I should also note that I've not added a lot of oil. 
good because I didn't want to keep on cooking so that our paste can be sticky or can be I mean, it does not get so diluted eh? so I'm going to give it a good blend like it has to be smooth eh? and, uh, you should always keep when you're breading you should bread while stopping so that your blender can stay longer eh? Should not be one zoom and, you, and then you're done. So we are doing this to ensure that it is very smooth. Need now for our white onion. Let me first uh, note this. Note this, eh? Uh, oil. Uh, previously, we used to be taught in school that oil has no value, but it is. We are coming to realize that it has a lot of uh, antioxidants. Those people who are suffering with the due to cancer, this will help. And that is why I always don't ensure that I have added a lot of onion in my food because it is not only giving me that flavor it's also so nutritious and it's going to help my body and another point to note is that good food will not come from um well yummy food will not come from just cooking with a lot of oil but an uh, onion will give you the best food possible you have noted that I've separated our coriander in terms of uh, leaves and stem. Eh? So I'm going to add our stem so that it can release that flavor to our our meal. While I'm also adding the other three remaining with one cube. Eh? That is cumin, paprika, and black pepper. Going to, uh, we normally add them pri uh, immediately after our onion become translucent to ensure that they get cooked properly and start uh, releasing the aroma and the flavor before uh, uh, together with the oil. My onion is ready, and so I'm going to add the yellow capsicum, the yellow and uh, green, eh? so that they can get cooked slightly before I add my paste. If you want to have it as a salad, now the onion, the capsicum yellow, you can add it. You can add it at the end. You see, eh? just before you add your yeah, eggs. Everything like that. Then, then I'm going to add our tomato paste. All of this, and then get, we're going to reduce the amount of heat that is coming so that we can cook it uh, like the steamer in it to ensure that it is fully cooked. Eh? My cube that sauce on the paste has the uh, tomatoes, has the uh, lead pepper, uh, carbs, has the uh, ginger and garlic so we have to give them some time to cook and release their aroma and flavors together and get to to be combined completely with other 
spices and herbs that we have added here. So here at this stage, I'm also going to add my salt. My salt and cube actually made the transparent. I'm going to ensure that I've crushed it completely and mixed it. So we're going to give it some time. It get cooked completely until the oil get start to separate itself from the mixture. So from the look of things, our paste is ready. And so here is where our macho are going to be made from so I'm making this hole where I will place our macho egg egg And down the cold one. Third one. The fourth one. So I'm going to give them some time and lower the Okay, going to put them at row 10 and to ensure that even our matches get ready. You can see how pretty all the things look like. We're going to give them some time. So we're going to look at our Meal. Uh, so it's ready now. You should give it some time. Uh, every chef knows that patience in every recipe is key. It is the reason behind getting the best results when we are cooking. So um, um, you can use parsley. I'm substituting this with the coriander and so I want to show you how you serve them so we take them apart and then So this is how we're going to have our shak, uh, shakshuka. We're going to serve it with a favorite veg, that is cauliflower, broccoli and carrots. And then we have our mashed potatoes flavored with cheese. Yeah, karibuni sana. I wanted to, take, uh, to have a taste while I'm still doing this uh, vlog. Actually, whenever I take this meal, it feels better than when I even take a chicken. I'm, I'm requesting everyone, every viewer of this uh, YouTube channel to go and try this meal, especially that time that you feel like, oh, I don't feel like taking meat today. Just try uh, shashuka. It's the best. 
Thank you.